Hello guys, welcome back to Behind the Cosplay. This is the second ever official episode. I'm your host, Cody Bennett, and this is your weekly show where I talk to someone interesting from the cosplay convention community. This could be a cosplayer, a convention YouTuber, or someone who runs conventions maybe one day, that'd be cool to get on here, or even just someone who has been in the community for a while and uh, has a lot to share. Remember that this is a conversational interview that goes live every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on YouTube and SoundCloud, coming soon to iTunes if this thing takes off, you know, if it's a hit, and we'll bring it to iTunes, Uh, but we're testing the waters first. Uh, Also, if you know someone cool that you want to be on the show, you want to hear what they have to say, you know, kind of get an an in-depth look at them that you normally wouldn't get to see, there is a link in the description of the YouTube version of this show where you can suggest future guests. So check that out, suggest them to me. And like I mentioned last time on the show, it'd help a lot if there's somebody you want to be on here, if you also write them up, as well as suggesting it to me, hit them up on any other social media and be like, hey, convention reviews, this Cody Bennett guy, he's doing this behind the cosplay show about an hour long, you know, you talk to him, let him know what's going on, and uh, he puts it up, you should definitely check it out. Uh, And I also want to mention, I forgot to mention this last time, everybody I talk to on the YouTube version, there is a link in the description to their channel if they're a YouTuber. So definitely, or if they're a cosplayer, I'll have a link out to whatever page they want me to link out to. So definitely check them out. So Royal Lily was last week. There is a link to her uh, her YouTube if you go back to that video, you want to check it out. But this week, this week, we're moving on. We're talking to Selena from the Celza 1013 YouTube channel. Link to her channel in the description. She is a YouTuber, obviously, since I just said YouTube channel. She's been doing this for about two years. She has just broken a 1,000 subscribers. So still fairly small, still fairly small. But we're talking to her because I think she does pretty good. You know, she's still new. She's still breaking into the whole... Uh, She's, she's been vlogging and doing music videos for a little while, but like I said, she's still getting into it. So get kind of a perspective from someone who's not been doing it for that long. But I also want to talk to her because she makes cosplay as well. Uh, just like last week, we had a YouTuber who also did cosplay, and it's the same this week. Selena does both. I remember I discovered her channel a long time ago. I think she only had like maybe two maybe 200 subscribers i'm not even sure and she was a fan of my channel and i saw her post about it somewhere and so i i was like oh this girl has a channel okay i'll look at it i checked it out and i was like for 200 subscribers she's doing some pretty cool stuff so you know i got her on some convention story times and have been trying to help her pimp out her channel since then. She's been doing an awesome job, getting bigger and bigger. Seems to have a super loyal fan base. I remember when I had a thousand subscribers, I'd post a video and I wouldn't get nearly the amount of comments that she gets on her videos uh, when she posts them at the same amount of subscribers. So, so she seems to be building a pretty loyal fan base. Uh, definitely go check her channel out. But before you do that, or I guess you can do that beforehand if you want to know, you know, who I'm talking to. But let's get into the conversation. Let's call her up. This is another Skype call. So let's call her up, get her on the line, and see what she has to say. All right. What's up, Selena? Welcome to the show. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for having me here. Yeah, I already... uh kind of briefed the people on who you are, but we're just going to jump right in. Mm -hmm. Uh, I want to know, first of all, like, who you are exactly, like how you would describe yourself. Well, I am a very shy person, I guess. (laughs) Um, I am uh, pretty creative. I really love art and... um, Oh gosh, I don't know what else to say now. Well, what, <laughs> what do you 
what do you do? Like, I'm interested more, like, what do you do um, in, like, the cosplay world, the convention world? Oh, so for that, um, I guess I could say I make cosplays. I love sewing since I was, like, in high school. And so, like, I thought, why not do it for, like, you know, for fun <laughs> and go into cons. And then you also make videos, too, right? Yes, I do. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> but yeah, I do have a I, I do have a YouTube channel. I've been it's been two years now. This is like my second year anniversary, and it's been really great. Like I love making videos now, and like I think it's gonna help me out in the future. That's awesome. So if people wanted to see your work, where would they find it? They could um, they could find me on Facebook, Instagram, Cosplay Amino, and YouTube. Under what? Like, what's your uh, name? Selza 1013. I know it's a weird name, but like... (laughs) On everything? Yep, on everything. Okay, awesome. Well, except for Facebook. Facebook is Selza Cosplays, because like, for some reason someone took um, Selza 1013, so I thought, oh, I'll just put Selza Cosplays. Are you serious? Somebody else took it? Yeah. I don't know who, so random. That's like, that's not like kind of a normal name. I know, it's weird. It's literally, like, three letters of my first name and two letters of my last name. So, oh, so I that's where th- the name comes from? Yeah, I gotta thank my high school for that, because, like, um, that was my username for high school, and so I thought, oh, it sounds really nice, so why not use it for, like, my cosplays and all that? I mean, it's kind of cool, honestly. Thank you. Like, it sounds like a uh, Final Fantasy character. <laughs> it does? Like, it does. Like, uh, I can't remember his name. There's a guy. I think he's from Final Fantasy VI or Final Fantasy IX. I don't remember. His name is, like, it's similar. I can't remember his name now. Um, I gotta look it up now. <laughs> I think he was in uh, Kingdom Hearts 2. In the beginning, I think you fight him in the, like, the little tournament thing that you do as Roxas. Uh... Oh, man, I just played Kingdom Hearts 2, and now I can't remember. <laughs> well, that's all right. Uh, oh, well. Anyway, it sounds like a Final Fantasy, like, villain almost. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm a villain now. Yay. <laughs> okay, so um, you don't have to be, like, you know, super exact. You can be really broad, but, like, what in what, like, general area did you grow up? I grew up in um, Chicago, Illinois. I've lived there for, like, 13 years, and then I moved because of high school, Chicago, it wasn't really uh, a good neighborhood, I guess, because um, my childhood was really tough at the time. Like, I was bullied a lot. Um, I didn't really fit in. And it was really tough because I didn't really have that many friends. And so um, in high school, my mom was really worried about me going to high school. And so the high schools there weren't really good. Uh, I'm not saying all the high schools there are not good, but like some are good, but like the one I was going to, my brother and sister went to that one and um, they didn't like it. And so we moved kind of like northern of Illinois. And so, um, yep, that's where we uh, moved and like I went to high school there. So you, com- and, you completely moved houses because of high school? Yeah. That's interesting. Well, not really houses. I lived in an apartment. Well, whatever. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> House apartment. That's what I meant. House oh, yeah. Apartment, Sorry. Whatever. Um, is that where you said you weren't really, you didn't really have a lot of friends. Is that because why was that? Were you like, uh, um, well, the kids there, they were really different, I guess. They were really into like, I guess can say ghetto stuff. And Mm. like, I was more of a girly girl and a lot of guys didn't like that. And, um, I guess one of the reasons why I got bullied was because of the guys I used to like, like some of the guys had crushes on. And so they would always make fun of me for like, oh, like, you're not pretty like the other girls. Why don't you dress up like the other girls or like, you know, Mm. stuff like that. Like, why aren't you like everybody else? I'm like, because I don't I'm not really into that style. I want to be me. But like, it's really hard to like, you know, be myself there. And like people thought I was weird, too, because the way I was dressing up. And yeah, it was really difficult. So it didn't have anything to do with like being into anime or games or anything nerdy. Oh, they didn't know that I was into that stuff. Like, oh, I you kept it secret? <laughs> kind of. Well, nobody wanted to, like, get to know me, so I just kept that all to myself. I was really into anime when, um, um every morning I would watch um, Yu-Gi-Oh! on TV, and so I would watch Yu-Gi-Oh!, Pokemon, you know, the the ones that would come up every morning. And the so, basic um, uh, 90s kids Yeah. Uh, anime. Yeah, I mean, I watched yeah, the same I really, stuff. Yeah, it was pretty cool, and, like, no one was really into that. 
in my school, and so I really kept that to myself. But um, there were some kids in my neighborhood. There were mostly guys, but like there were guys in my neighborhood that I talked to. I guess they were my friends. But um, yeah, those they were not in the same school as I went, so I didn't I didn't really get to like talk to anybody in my classes. So you kind of already answered it, but I was gonna ask uh, throughout your childhood. Were you always into nerdy things, or did that come later in life? Like, when did... Have you just always been into that stuff, or... Do you, do you remember a time when, like, you were like, oh, yeah, I like this? Actually, yeah, I didn't find out until, like, high school, because when I was a kid, yeah, I didn't know what that was. And so, in high school, I was like, what was that show I watched when I was a kid? And I was like, oh, it's Yugi, and I looked it up, and I was just like, oh, my God, I remember, like, how this was, like, really fun to watch, and I just watched the whole like series in like a few weeks so you watched then, it you watched it as a kid but you didn't really know what what it yeah was. i didn't know what it was i didn't know it was anime at all i thought it was just cartoons or like weird cartoons with like a cool style to it i mean that's you know? pretty much what i thought when i was a kid i remember watching dragon ball and being like this is a cartoon <laughs> but it's like different i don't know why mm-hmm. this one's different but it is <laughs> like I it's don't... more epic like oh my gosh i have to see it again well this, what what <laughs> made me know it was different is that it had like a continuous story you know what i mean like an episode yeah. would end and then the next episode would pick up where it left off and other right. cartoons didn't really do that so yeah it was more like they were just winging it and like with Yu-Gi-Oh, i was like it had a story like i forgot what happened what happened again so that's why i that's what i that's what I wanted to like, you know, figure out. So that's when I got into it again. So what type of like nerdy things were you into? Was it just anime or did you were you into video games, comics or something, I don't know, something else that I'm not even thinking of? <laughs> well, another thing when I was a kid, um I really liked to draw and like I would draw like my own stories and like have my I guess guy friends read it. And, um, yeah, I guess you could say I was, like, really into, like, comics. I didn't read any as a kid. I just made them my, on my own. And as for gaming, um, I had a few friends that, like, had, like, a game system. I don't remember which one, but, like, we would play games on it. And, yeah, it was just, um, I didn't really play a lot because I didn't have one at home. So I would, whenever I wanted to play, I would just go to their house and, like, you know, play with them. That makes sense. And, yeah, now I'm, like, back into gaming, so it's... <laughs> It's pretty fun. You so just far. got back in? I just got back into gaming. Awesome. Um, yep. And you still draw? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I still love drawing. So, because that's my next question. Has has any of that changed as you grew up? What's the next question? Yeah, it actually did. Like, um, a lot of, like, uh, my guy friends would be like, oh, you should, like, do drawing for a living. I'm like, I could but it's a really like difficult field and so right now i'm still like trying to figure that out and see like where it takes me and -hmm. also for cosplay too like i really like that's another thing why i like about cosplaying like i really want to like improve into like my sewing skills and like my creativity and my craftsmanship okay awesome uh sorry i'm looking at my questions here and i'm like (laughs) no that's fine i don't think i have down on here to ask about like people's first cosplay, I'm not sure. I sent you the questions. Did I? Did I? Mm. I'm gonna put that in here. Okay. <laughs> Changing things on the fly. It's all good. Okay. Okay. We're ready to continue. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> uh, when When did you get into the like convention world? Like not necessarily cosplaying yet. I mean, maybe mm-hmm. you did it at that con. But what was your first convention? My first convention was um, ASIN 2013. I was um, a junior in high school, and that's when I did my very first cosplay. Um, well, since, like, I actually started sewing, like, in high school, too, like, in freshman year, I took a, a fashion class. And, like, yeah, at the time, I wanted to do fashion, too, because, like, I was really into sewing. But, nah, I, I don't want to do fashion anymore. <laughs> but I still oh, want to sew. Just for cosplay. Yeah, just for cosplay. And so, um... Yeah, my first cosplay was actually um, Rin Ohara from uh, Naruto Shippuden. And um, I didn't, like, at the time, like, I was trying to figure out, like, oh, like, how should I make this? Because, like, I didn't, I had a black shirt, but, like, I didn't have her skirt. And Mm -hmm. so um, I did a lot of research, and um, I had some pink fabric. And so I used my sewing knowledge that I had from, like, freshman year and, like, made that skirt. 
So it wasn't the best, but like I tried and it still looked pretty good to me. But you did it. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta start, everyone starts somewhere, I mean. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, I know my first cosplay, and I've only cosplayed like twice, twice. three times. <laughs> I don't know, not very much. Was just uh, like on the fly. Like I was at a con and happened to buy a, a Kotsky robe. And then I was just like, I'll just buy one of Toby's masks. And then I was like, I'm Toby. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I didn't make anything, but. That's all uh, right. You don't have to make anything to be a cosplayer, really. You could just yeah. put a costume and just have fun. For sure. So, Mm -hmm. how was your first con? How did it go? Does anything about it, like, in particular stick out in your memory? Hmm. Well, we stayed there pretty late. (laughs) I still had a good time. Like, it was, like, it was me and my friend's first time going, except for one person, because she went there, like, the year before, and she wanted to take us. And so, um, yeah, there was a lot of, we were really, really tired, because, like, this was our first time walking around in this big, big convention center. And, like, we stayed pretty late, and, like, we weren't really used to it, so we were, like, really tired at the end. But it was really fun because, like, we got to go, like, meet new people, go to panels, and, like... And one thing that stuck out was, like, that creeper I told you about, like, in our other story time. Oh, in our story time? Yeah, well, I thought that check was... Out, uh, check out that story time on my channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was... I thought that was the funniest thing that happened to me because, like, not a lot of guys, like, approached to me like that, so I thought that was pretty funny. That was at your first con? Yep, my first con. I didn't remember that year. I don't know if you mentioned that or not. Maybe you did. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. How have you or your views on cons changed since back then? Or have they? Uh, hmm. This is really tough because I have been really thinking about, like, um, why have I... Why do I still go to cons and all that? And, like... I think everybody hits that point at some yeah. point. Yeah. Like, I don't know, maybe because I'm getting old. <laughs> uh. But, um, yeah, I mostly, I, I think it still hasn't changed because, like, I like to go because, like, I don't see my friends very much. And, like, going to cons is, like, is, like the only time I get to see them and, like, you know, spend time with them, especially mm. in cosplay. Because we're all, like, really busy and, like, we all have jobs, we all have school, stuff like that. And so, yeah, going to cons, like, really helps me, like, meet up and catch up with friends. Do you think the cons themselves have changed at all? Because I know, I hear a lot of people, the reason I put this question in here is I, I hear a lot of people saying that, like, I don't know, it's become maybe more mainstream, there's more rude people, perhaps, like, uh... Yeah, I see what you mean. Um, for ASIN, I've been going there for, like, five years, and, like, my first year, there weren't that many people. It was crowded a little bit, but, like, now, this year that I went, it was just really, really it grew a lot and there were a lot of people and I was just like so shocked that like so many people are there and it just grew a lot from like when the first time I went. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. You answered that. Uh, (laughs) when did you get into making cosplay? You kind of answered this. So it was your first con. Mm -hmm, My first con. That was like five years ago. So yeah, I've been cosplaying for like five years now. Awesome. And so you taught yourself everything. Mm-hmm. Everything was all... It was, blah, sorry. <laughs> everything was all self-taught. And, um... Sorry, I totally forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So, um... Yeah, I didn't really learn very much in, like, um... In my sewing class. Like, everything was all basic. And so, like, um... If I needed, like, help, like, making something, like new like I would always like look it up or like look up YouTube tutorials and that's where I, I met uh Mago Cyrene who like she inspired me a lot to like do cosplay on YouTube and so like she really helped me a lot to like make like certain things and like you know tutorials and all that so you would just also- follow her tutorials or mm-hmm. yeah is there any any other ways you learned or is it pretty much just YouTube and Google yeah it's all it's pretty much yeah all that or, like, sometimes I would, like, ask my mom, too, because, like, she knows a little bit about sewing. And so I would ask her for, like, help and stuff. Hmm, okay. Uh, what's the hardest thing about making cosplay for you? Or just hmm. being a cosplayer in general? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I guess it's um, how to make the cosplay accurate. Like, trying to make it exactly like the character. Because, like, some people, I don't know, they get upset that, like, it doesn't look just like the character, which it's okay, really. Like, right now, I 
sometimes don't care if it doesn't look like it. But um, I guess it's the accuracy and, like, also, like, putting the work into making cosplay. Because, like, sometimes, like, I wouldn't have time to, like, make it because of, like, work and, like, school and all that. But, um, yeah, it's mostly of the accuracy. Because, like, sometimes if it something doesn't turn out right, I kind of get upset, too. Which I try really hard not to do because, like, it doesn't really matter now. Now that I think about it. But, like, yeah, it's mostly the accuracy. Yeah, I mean, it's about you know, you being happy with your cosplay. like Yeah, exactly. I know other people will get mad. And I was just reading some story times yesterday where a guy was like, he told a cosplayer, he was like, you do, you're doing your cosplay wrong. And it's like, chill the F out, you know? Like, <laughs> it's not yeah. your cosplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, just do what makes you comfortable, really. Okay, well, you don't just cosplay. You also do make videos. So I do. <laughs> when when did you get into making videos? Like before YouTube, or was YouTube the start of it? Like, did you do any any video sort of stuff pre YouTube, or was that the beginning? Uh, I'm trying to remember because this was like so long ago. Uh, hmm. I guess um, in high school, like I would record stuff too with my phone, but I don't know if that really counts. <laughs> Like, I would just record, like, random stuff and, like, with my friends and I... I mean, that counts. Really? Why not? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess that's how I started. And then um, after watching uh, Mango Sirene's, like, vlogs, I got inspired. I'm like, oh, I want to try that. And so that's what I did for um, Midwest. Like, at first my YouTube channel was just for music. Like, I would just put random Nightcore, nightcore view, uh, music that I would put. And, um, yeah, I got rid of those, and then I started, like, vlogging, and then a lot of people liked it, and so I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> and so I find vlogging really fun now, and, like, right now I'm trying, like, to make new, like, new videos, like, music videos, or, like, makeup tutorials, or, like, story times and all that. Change it and, up. Mm -hmm, yeah, because, like, I don't just want to focus it on vlogs. I want to, like, do other stuff, and, like, you know, just, right now I'm just winging it, like, just trying new stuff with my channel. And your channel is growing. I mean, uh, I look at it sometimes, and it's growing faster than than a lot of people. Like, you were smaller. Your channel was smaller than a lot of other people I know, and then it just passed oh. them up. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Like, it just keeps going. Um, so you said that your fir the first con you recorded at was what anime central 2013 oh no it was anime midwest oh anime midwest 2013 yeah and it was like my first time going there so i was like i want to like you know record my first experience at this con so was that and your it... second con i think so yeah wow. yeah it was my second one because like every year i would only go to um asin and then now i was like oh wait there's other conventions too like okay let's go to anime west <laughs> yeah that's awesome uh, mm -hmm. Okay, did you, you did you teach yourself how to to do video or? Yeah, I taught myself. All yourself? Did can you tell me a little about this? Like, did you use YouTube or like did you watch tutorials or did you just wing it and like learn as you went? I totally winged it. I didn't know there was like you know, a certain way to like edit. I would just like, what's the word? Um, I didn't really edit much because I just thought like, oh, I'll just like want to put out the full experience. But like now it's That's exactly like... what I did at first. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like watching other ones, I'm like, oh man, I want to try like, you know, this style. But then like, you know, it's kind of hard because, you know, you don't want to take that person's like idea or like their style and stuff like that. Yeah. And so I get that for sure. Like you got, is it finding your own identity? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, um. Yeah, I got inspired by, like, other, like, YouTubers on their editing style, like you, of course. Oh, mine? And, uh, yeah. Well, that's awesome. Mine's changed over the years, though, but... I like it. It's really, like, it really has improved a lot. Well, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. And, um, yeah, like, just for editing, I at first I just winged it. I didn't really, like, care about it. But, like, now it's, like, now that I have, like, a, a new program and all, it's just, like, I want to try, like, new stuff with it, like, new editing styles. Yeah, for sure. Getting mm -hmm. getting into newer programs helps a, a lot. lot. Yeah, it, it opens so many doors. I went from, uh, I don't remember what my first program was. It was some, like, small program, some free small program, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and then I went into, like, Vegas, and then from Vegas, I was convinced 
by Real T Dragon to get Adobe Premiere Pro and never looked back. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't like, tried that one yet. Premiere Pro? Yeah, I haven't tried it. I tried some. I tried um, uh, what's it called? F- Filmmore. It's pretty simple. It's I guess it's kind of like it, but it's more of like a simpler version. Mm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I just use Vegas for everything. Or not Vegas, Premiere for everything now. Like, mm-hmm. You should look into it one day. Because I feel like... I mean, you have to pay for it, though. But mm. that's why it took me so long. But uh, I feel like with Premiere is really what like made my videos get better. Was, like more advanced? Because you, there's just so much you can do, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, what is the hardest thing about making con videos? Who? Um... Let's see. So, like, recording? Um, oh, no, no, not. Oh. <laughs> I was asking because I know you didn't record at uh, AC. Oh, I see what you did there. Ha. Huh? Um, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess, like, nowadays it's recording because um, I get really into, like, the moment where, there, where I'm at. And so, yeah, at ASIN, I didn't record because, like, for some reason, like, something in my head was telling me, like, don't record, don't record, just have fun, just focus on, like, everybody, because, like, at, at every con I go to, I always focus on, like, recording and, like, telling, like, the viewers, like, oh, this is happening, this is happening, we're at blah, 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 and so it really takes out all my energy and time, and, like, I barely have time to, like, hang out with my friends, even though that's the reason why I go to cons now, and so, um, yeah, at ASIN, I didn't record, and, like, I was happy and like I had a really really good time with everybody and like I and I kind of felt bad too because I was having so much fun but I wasn't like you know catching the moment with my camera or anything no, and so, I, mean, I don't think you should feel bad for that at all like uh, I get it I was just having a conversation with uh, Dakota the other day about mm-hmm. how how at ASIN I wish that's what I would have done like I made myself record and did we didn't really have fun honestly oh <laughs> But yeah, we're we're trying yeah, to focus a lot more. Yeah, we we want to focus a lot more on getting back to like just having fun at con. So, I totally get that. Yeah, I guess it's just a way of saying like, oh, like just take this con as a break and just enjoy it. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And so, um, yeah, I got to talk to like other YouTubers like you and um, Confident Video, saying like, oh, I didn't get that much footage, and I felt really bad. Like, oh man, I don't know if it was the con or just us, <laughs> you yeah. know. I mean, it was a busy con anyway, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, that for sure. And that's why I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't record because this is a really busy con. There's so many people, and I don't want to get, like, you know, overwhelmed with it, you know? So is there something else? You said that's not the hardest thing. What do you think the hardest thing about doing video is then? Uh, I guess, like, hmm, sometimes editing because sometimes, like, I'm, you know, I'm still learning, try to, like, you know, have a style with my editing. Mm-hmm. And also, like, I guess, like... Um, the views because like sometimes when I post a video not a, lot of, not a lot of people like view it even though like now I have like a thousand but like now I, I just don't care about that because I'm just doing this as a hobby like I don't I feel like I'm not gonna go anywhere with like YouTube you never so, know true but like for now it's just a hobby because you know yeah just just be consistent you know mm-hmm. keep putting stuff yeah. out I get that though I get it like uh, my views on convention reviews have been way down, like way, way down. And I mean, it's pretty obvious that that's because, you know, I haven't been posting regularly and, you know, the hiatus and everything. And mm-hmm. you, you have, I too try not to worry about it, but I agree that is a hard thing. Like it's hard it to is. like to separate yourself from that because you put mm-hmm. so much work into things and then it goes out and then you're like, man, why, isn't, why aren't people watching? <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, so I get that for sure. I would have honestly, I would have never thought that. But as soon as you said it, I was like, yeah, I get that for sure. Mhm. Okay. And like. Oh, 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 go on. No, go ahead. I didn't no, want to say. I was gonna move on to the next <laughs> question. If you have more to say, go ahead. I forgot now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry. Uh. Uh. What was your favorite cosplay you've done? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh man, um, I have three now. I have three favorite ones. Um, my favorite Mavis, um, Eries from Final Fantasy Fifteen, and this one that I'm making, which I don't, I don't know if I should say because I want it to be a surprise. 
Oh, we'll just shoot. say it. Well, wait, 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 wait. This video, this podcast won't come out for another, like, at least a month. So is it going to oh, be, yeah. are people going to yeah, see it by be, then? Yeah, people are going to see it by then. So, um, <laughs> so Eerie's from Final Fantasy 15, Mavis from Fairy Tale, and Tifa from Final Fantasy 7. Ah, Tifa. Yep. So those are your top three? Yep, because um, the reason why I they're my favorite was because I made them, like, top to bottom. Like, I made everything from it. And, like, I'm really proud, like, how it turned out. And, like, a lot of people really liked it, too. Like, for Eeries, I don't know if I told you this, but um, I wore Eeries at um, Anime Milwaukee, and people thought I was Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts. Oh, really? Yeah, and, like, I don't know, like, people would, like, come up to me because I had the Moogle and everything, too, and they're like, oh, are you that girl from Kingdom Hearts? Um, what's her name? Kyrie? I'm like, um, no. no. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm Eeries from Final Fantasy XV. They're like, oh, Eeries, okay. Wow, I'm like, okay. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I thought that was funny. It happened, like, three times, and, like, it happened one when I was just, when I was just walking around, and then the second time, it was at the masquerade, and I was just sitting there, and someone from behind me was like, have you, like, have you given yourself to the darkness, Kyrie? I'm like, what? I'd be like, bruh, I'm not Kyrie. <laughs> yeah, I'm not Kyrie in ears, and they felt so bad. They're like, oh my god, I am so sorry. I thought you were Kyrie. I'm like, That's funny, because nah. they were trying to be funny. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? And I guess it's the outfit, because, like, it, they do look similar, but, like... I would imagine it'd be the hair, because Kyrie from Kingdom Hearts 1 kind of has yeah. the same hair. Yeah, they, have, they both have short hair. And wow. so, yeah, I thought that was a really funny experience with, like, one of my cosplays. That's funny. Do you have... I, actually, one of my questions is... Uh, oh, gosh, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, it's okay. Dude, I straight up lost it. Oh, it's no. A, it's right on here. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> one of my questions is, do you have any interesting stories that make the your favorite cosplay stand out? So... And that's with wearing it or making it. So you had one for Iris. Do you have any for the other two? Or I know uh, Tifa's not done yet, but... Yeah, I'm going to wear her for our Anime Midwest. So, yeah, I'm excited for that one. Uh, for Mavis, um, not really. Like, a lot of people really liked it because um, I made hers and um, my friend who um, who was cosplaying um, Zerif. And so we were both cosplaying them at Midwest, like, last year. And a lot of people really, really liked it. And so I guess that was one of the memorable things about that one. But yeah, okay. that's all. <laughs> okay. And then pretty much the same question for video. Do you have a favorite video that you've done? Oh, gosh. <laughs> um, hmm. I guess I have to say um, the music video I made for C2E2. And like it was my first time going, so I had a really, really good time. I didn't really record much, just a little bit. I did do I did do a vlog, but it was just a little bit. And I had a really good time because it was my first time going and like people were just really awesome there. Like it was just really, really fun and like it was really big too, so I was like a little overwhelmed. Maybe that's why I wasn't recording much. But yeah, I had a really good time like editing that because like it was like I guess one of my first music videos that I got to edit. And yeah. <laughs> Well, what what makes this video stand out to you? Like, why would why do you pick it as your favorite? Just, I guess, because it was the music that I chose for it, and like it was really like you know upbeat and it was really like hype and all that, and um, mostly all the footage that I got it was just like people having fun at the con, and that's what I really that's what I wanted to show at my videos because like you know sometimes we're like all like you know like sometimes tired or like upset mm -hmm. that the con is not going really good. But, like, mostly it's just to have fun, and, like, that's what people are forgetting to do nowadays. They just forget to have fun, and that's why, that's why I wanted to show in that video. So, like, it got a lot of good views, too, and so, I'm like, I was glad that a lot of people were liking it, and, yeah. I agree with this so much. This is another thing I was talking to Dakota about recently. We were just, <laughs> we were talking about, and to Drew, we were, we were talking about kind of leaning less into the, the cosplay music video uh, mm -hmm. side of music videos and more into the, like, my first videos, I don't know if you ever saw my first music videos I did, but it was so much more of, like, showing the con and just, like, trying to show the fun people were having. Mm-hmm, yeah. And I've, I mean, I've obviously, I don't want to make this about me, this is about you, but it's just, like, I totally agree with you because we, too, yeah. think that, like, we, we might want to change our videos to kind of just show more, like, 
people having fun, you know? Yeah. Because, I don't know, there's so much, like, negativity in the world, and even in cons nowadays. Yeah, that, it's, like, really weird. It's like, what's going on? Yeah, it, it just... What's happening? It'd be better to, like, just show the good times, like, people having mm-hmm. fun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I totally agree with you. And, like, yeah, totally agree. Okay, what is your favorite con you've been to? That, I have to say, I'm in uh, Milwaukee. Really? It was, yeah, it was, I had a really good time that year. It was, like, it was my first time going, and um, I got to, like, cosplay Eeries, and, like, a lot of people liked it. And also, I got to meet um, Ray Chase, who was the voice actor of Noctis from Final Fantasy XV. And it was my first time, like, kind of being alone at a con, and I it was kind of weird at first because, like, I was, I'm was i always used to, like, going with friends and, like, I'm afraid that, you know, a creeper's going to come at me. <laughs> but no, <laughs> yeah, no, nothing like that happened. And so, yeah, I got to meet new people, too. Like, I was waiting in line for the autograph session. And, um, yeah, I got to meet new people there. And, like, we talked and, like, about a lot of stuff. We talked about anime, video games, Final Fantasy. And, like, yeah, it was really great. And, like... I really love the location and everything, and, like, we went to the ball, too, which I thought was really, really fun. Yeah. And so, yeah, I really love the location, and, like, I'm I'm thinking of going next year, too. I feel like I need to go back. I, I mean, the crew and I didn't go this year, and that's the year you're talking about, right? It was this year? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, and people kept saying, like, you're one of the people, too, that kept saying it was better this year, and mm-hmm. I, uh, two years ago, the last time we went, we hated it. Like, oh gosh! <laughs> but it's crazy because we loved it before. I had been two years before that, and we loved it every time. And then, just that one year, what was it? Two thousand sixteen, I guess. It was mm-hmm. just a bad year. <laughs> yeah, I heard a lot about it. I was like kind of worried about that too, because like I saw your review, and like you said, it was like bad. I was like, oh no, and what people if it's agreed. gonna be bad this year? <laughs> yeah, people agreed with the review too. They weren't like, oh no, screw you, Cody. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, they totally agreed. So I don't know. I'm. I feel like I need to go back. I need to give it another shot. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Uh, okay. Do you have any dream cons that you uh, want to go to but have never been able to make it to? I have a lot now. I was actually talking to someone at ASIN about this, and um, cause she went to a lot of cons. She went to like Colossal, Katsukon, Anime Expo. I was like, oh man, I want to go to those three. <laughs> I want to go to those cons. But yeah, my three um, cons that I really, really want, really, really want to go to: um, Katsukon, Colossal Con, uh, Anime Expo. Um, I heard Yomacon was really good, so maybe yes. that's yes. Yeah, I really want to go to that one. Oh my gosh, go to Yomacon! See, that's my uh, if I exclude Dragon Con because it's just another level. Yomacon, oh yeah, Dragon Con. <laughs> Yomacon's gotta be the best con in the Midwest. I'm telling mm-hmm. you. Yeah, I really want to go to those, but, like, you know, can't because of money and, like, you know, ah, life. Try to go. I know. I'm planning next year for sure. Like, next year for sure, I really want to go to those three. Are there I'm any others? Any others? that? Any others? Um, I think, um, no, I don't think so. I think those are the only ones that I have right now. Okay. Uh, all right. What would you tell people who want to start cosplaying? What advice do you have? Advice? Um... Uh, hmm. I guess, like, if you want to, like, make your cosplay, just do a lot of research on it first before making it. And also, like, ask others who are, like, experts in, like, sewing to, like, help you out if you don't know how to sew. And, um, yeah, just have fun with it, really. Just have fun with it? Mm Mm-hmm. And also, yeah, just have fun and also, like, do a lot of research on the cosplay that you're going to make. Yeah. (laughs) Okay, same question for making con videos. Any advice? Oh, man. I um, I don't know. I don't think... Just do it, I guess. Like, that's what I did. I just winged it all. I I just pretty much did whatever I could to, like, you know, put videos up. This is That's exactly what I tell people. Every time people say, how do I get <laughs> into making con videos? I'm like, Can't, just do it. Yeah, like, just do it. it. Yeah. Like, and- I, hon- I honestly don't know how to answer this. That's why I'm like, just do it. Like... That's how I did it. Just and like people make up excuses. They're like, I don't have a camera. I'm like, mm-hmm. um, I used my phone for like to use to use the camera as my first camera. So just use your phone and like just record and like you know record stuff that you think people will enjoy, 
and just have fun with it. Yeah, and and people will get better. Like I feel like so yeah. many people they worry so much about like planning it out, and they're like, I can't do it until I have this or this. And there's always like a there's always a reason they can't do it, and really they just need to to start. Mm-hmm. Just get into it. I feel like they're getting like ahead of themselves too, because they they want their videos to be like really really good, but your vi- your first video is not gonna turn out like the best you know like professional it's gonna take years and years to like get better at it yeah and yeah just like do it (laughs) yeah they need to go in realizing that i Mm -hmm. think like yeah if you go in expecting like oh i'm gonna put out make maybe my first video suck but like my fifth video is gonna be like i'm gonna be a pro it's like no you're gonna have to struggle for a while but (laughs) Mm -hmm. yep okay it really it really takes time if you can talk about it, what do you think the future holds for you in the cosplay and convention world? Where do you want to be, or do you have any other aspirations at all in this? Um, hmm. Well, Or is it just, I, like, a hobby, like you said earlier? Like, Yeah, I guess, like, well, a lot of people that I know want to be, like, cosplay famous, and, like, I, to be honest, I wanted that to be my future, but, like, now that I think about it, it's really hard and like I don't think I want that anymore as for my future because like as I said it's really difficult so now I'm just gonna like do this as a hobby and like just keep doing it till like I don't know till I die I guess <laughs> so or, like, just just for fun yeah just for fun uh there's nothing you don't have anything like you can maybe talk about like coming uh I know you said you want to try new videos on your channel. What type of things are you thinking about? Or um, Recently, I did, like, a few challenges with my friends, and, like, we really had, a, like, a fun time making those. So maybe I'll, like, do more challenges, maybe do more makeup tutorials, and, um, of course, like, more vlogs, because, like, I'm actually going to vlog this time for Anime Midwest. And, um, we'll also... see. Oh, pff, come on. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Cut me some slack. It was just one time I didn't record. Come on. I'm just playing. <laughs> it's okay. And, um, yeah, vlog more, um, make more music videos at cons. And, yeah, those are, like, pretty much my future projects right now that I'm announcing. <laughs> okay. Nothing else to talk about? No no crazy cosplay ideas? Uh... Wait, what? <laughs> like, in the future, people you might want to cosplay, or would you not want to talk about that yet? Oh, so, like, my future cosplays for, like, future cosplans, I guess you could say? Yeah. Uh, right Unless now, it's just... Unless you want to keep it under wraps. Oh. I guess I'll just say it now. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess, like, one of them, like I said, it's going to be Tifa. And I know I said this in my New Year's resolution video, but, like, I told myself, don't make any more cosplays, and look what happened. I'm making more. <laughs> yeah. I broke the rules. Jeez. But yeah, one of them is Tifa. Um, there's also another one, but it's not really cosplay. It's more of like a casual kind of cosplay. I have her wig. It's just... That one's a secret. Okay. And um, yeah, I think I think that's all. I think I'm just making Tifa for this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, once again... Just in case they forgot, where can people find you if they want to follow your work? Now that I'm sure some people listen to this who had no idea who you were, they might be interested. Where can they find you again? They can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Cosplay Mino, and YouTube. And that's all under Celza... 1013, or Celza Celza Cosplay, or Celza Cosplays for Facebook. Okay, so Celza 1013 on everything other than Facebook, and Facebook is Celza Cosplay. Mm Mm-hmm. All right, any final words before we end this? Keep being nerdy, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) All right, sounds good. Thanks so much for uh, coming on here and doing this with me. Mm -hmm, No problem. Thank you for having me here. Yeah, of course. And uh, anytime, I don't know if we could do maybe another podcast again way down the line. I don't know what it would be about. But uh, anytime you have any stories that you want to tell, let me know. I'm always down to have people skype in for convention story time Mm -hmm, of course yeah sounds good all right well that's it (laughs) (laughs) my god 
another awesome conversation in the books. Learning so much, guys. I'm really loving doing this series so far. I hope you guys are liking it. I mean, I still none of these still go live. At the time I'm recording this, none of these still go live for another couple of weeks, so I don't know what the reaction is yet. But I hope you guys like it. I'm really enjoying talking to these people and getting to know them. Like I said earlier, let me know in the link in the description who you want me to talk to. I'm excited to talk to some people that I don't even know at all. The last two people I've talked to, you know, I know them decently. Uh, but, yeah. Also, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you think about this and how you think I can make it better. What questions should I be asking that I'm not asking? What am I doing wrong here, guys? I'm taking all that information in. And the next time I do an interview after, you know, these have gone live, the first like five or six, and then I get into recording ones that, that are recorded after the launch and I can hear your feedback, it should change it a little bit, you know, try and refine it. We're, we're still, I'm doing my best. I'm trying to make this as awesome as possible, but we're still, you know, kind of in the beta early access version of the podcast, you know, season one. So we're still, you know... Ironing, ironing out the, the wrinkles in the podcast. But let me know what you guys think. Give me your feedback. I need it. Don't forget that there is a link in the description to Selza's channel. Check it out. And thank you guys. Hold on. Let me try that intro again. Thank you guys so much for listening this week. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe like always. And I will see you next week with another awesome person.